What is up, everyone? Welcome back. Uh, okay, so we got uh, some more Kobe rookie chasing to do. We're doing, uh, we did a 1996 uh, collector's choice previously on this channel. I actually ordered another box of that because I was able to find another one at a, you know, fairly good price. Uh, this is the Series 1 box. This is a uh, same year, different set. A uh, little bit of a better set, in my opinion. And uh, uh, so, yeah, so we're going to open this. See, we can't get any uh, inserts, Kobe rookies. We'll take some base Jordans, but uh, box kind of beat up. I got a good deal on this as well. So, but you know, sometimes beggars can't be choosers. So let's just go ahead and start ripping into this box and see if they're bricked or not. Hopefully they're not bricked. Um, you know, because when you uh, buy a box like this and they're bricked, they're, it's, uh, ooh, they're not bricked. It's uh, pretty upsetting. So that's great. They're not bricked. Love that. It means they were kept in good condition. So. Uh, yeah, just doing some Kobe uh, rookie chasing right now. Jordan's way, way out of my league. So, uh, bam, first pack right off the bat. Kobe Bryant rookie card. Uh, love that. So, there's Kobe rookie card. Um, <clears throat> that takes the edge off, excuse me, the the rest of the break. Uh, we've done some breaks looking for certain cards, rookie cards. Oh, but it looks like it does have a little bit of a corner issue. It's uh, unfortunate, so... That is unfortunate. Maybe we get another one, but it does uh, it's it's barely there, <clears throat> so it's never not definitely not going to be a PSA ten, but it still has value, and uh, probably come in at like a an eight, hopefully or a nine. But uh, that takes the edge off our Kobe Bryant uh, searching. So, oh, that's uh, a part of his glasses. That's like a double print. It's weird. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a shadow of his glasses. I have to check and see if that's normal or if this is a misprint if it's a misprint then that's even better for us but we got a kobe rookie first pack uh first couple cards in so that's awesome um i had little uh stands but i guess i uh was so excited to get into this i just didn't grab them but that takes the edge off most of the break now it's all it's all downhill from here so that's great uh, never know what you're gonna get right so it's the rest of the pack so yeah this one's got a little too so looks like this pack got a little pressure of course it was a kobe pack but still happy to get one it's marcus camby it's dennis rodman excellence card i had a jordan card like this when i was younger um i still have it actually but uh i'd like to get another one in uh, great shape they don't go for a lot but it's a little trip down memory lane for me so this is one of those like you know they still add a bunch of players to uh one card so there's anthony hardaway nice like that and Terrell Brandon, no one really on there that uh, I'm looking for. So this is a fun break. Uh, basically, as long as I can get uh, boxes or that are uh, at a pretty decent price, then I'm gonna, uh, you know, continue my Kobe chasing while I can. One day they'll be just way, way out of control. So how's this corner? Okay, this one looks good. So I think we're, uh, it was unfortunate that it was just that pack, but you know, still got a Kobe rookie right off the bat, so that's great. Um, oh, nice. So we got another rookie, big rookie in this class coming up right here. Ray Allen and Allen Iverson back-to-back. -back. Look at that. So these are the other two big rooks uh, in this class, so that's great. Take a second, sleeve them up. Uh, I do like the gold print on this. I know it's supposed to look like a basketball, but uh, a lot of times when you do that, it does, looks kind of janky. But these look... Uh, sharp because of the foil so foil cards always harder to keep clean and harder to uh you know they're more desirable but it's easier to uh get them graded poorly so they're <laughs> kobe allen and uh ray uh iverson right off the bat so that's pretty sweet uh our last break did not go this swimmingly so we'll slide up our i guess we'll put these guys here and then we'll put our like save cards there so um, all right, hopefully the rest of the break is uh, just as good. Love to get a couple of uh, couple Jordans, a couple of Kobe's would be great. Um, I'm really bummed that that corner is not perfect, but you know, it's not really noticeable. Like it's not gonna make me like flip a later or anything, but <laughs> there it is. So right off the bat, we got, uh, we got these three players. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're only two packs in. So that's, that's, that's pretty crazy. NBA uh, pickup is easy as one, two, three. So who's on this one? Kendall Gills, probably the best player on there. There's Bryant Reeves. And Damien Stoudemire. So he was also a big prospect at this time as well. So 
All right, well, we're doing great. I'm gonna pull out a, well, actually this is working. <laughs> I'm superstitious, so I was pull, I usually pull out stacks at a time and for some reason this time I just went pack to pack and now unfortunately I'm gonna have to do that the, uh, the whole break, so. All right, there's Luke Longley. So they're good looking cards for sure. Uh, I remember getting this set when I was a kid and you know, it was like a, you know, in the dollar to two dollar range. And you, know, you just, <laughs> if you walked up to yourself back then and said, hey man, that's gonna be worth like a boatload of money, that pack you got, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> so Sean Kemp, there's a flight card. Okay, and these are Damien Stoudemire, Juwan Howard, Chris Webber. So not bad, not bad. Uh, these breaks when I'm doing like rookie chases or, uh, you know, something along the lines of like 1996 or uh, special insert chases, uh, they're a little bit of a slower burn. So this video will be probably around 30 minutes. Um, but that's just because uh, I like to experience a break a little longer. You know, other breaks where we kind of just have one chase card that is uh, not that it, not as uh, desirable will go through pretty quick. So there's my boy, Eddie Jones. I guess I'm not really making a second separate pile, so I guess I'll just keep sliding them over. Jerry Stackhouse, Tim Hardaway, and Jamal Mashburn, Jason Kidd. It's Patrick Ewing, Larry Johnson, Charles Oakley. Sharif Abdul Rahim was another big prospect at this time. And other players we're not looking for i'm glad these aren't sticking together i i bought uh right before the boom right now i'm not sure when you're watching this but there was a boom in 2020 of uh people you know getting back into this uh hobby so i bought a box of 1996 1997 fleer ultra for about a hundred and some odd dollars and uh right now they're going for seven to two thousand dollars and then the but the box i got I got uh, before that kind of that hit happened and then, but the box I got was also bricked really bad. Like I had, couldn't even upload the video. They literally, literally like stuck together in the worst way. I pulled four Kobe rookies, all of them damaged, could not get the cards apart. It was uh, not a fun time. That's for sure. Nice, is a Jason Kidd die cut? Yeah, I always get Jason Kidd die cuts. I don't know, it's like my thing, which is good because I'm actually chasing some more Jason Kidd die cuts later, so. This one uh, says the Upper Deck Company, and at the bottom it says Fast Break uh, 2. So that's cool. Careful with these die cuts, because they're always uh, a little more valuable. The card looks pretty sweet. It looks kind of old school. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, so that's a nice little uh, pull there. We got a Jason Kidd die cut card. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty well, I think. We're doing pretty well so far. Not sure what this goes for, um, but I do like die cut cards of uh, big 10 players. So you earned a spot right there, Jason Kidd. And then did I get through this pack? Antoine Carr, Brian Grant, Bobby Hurley. Yep, I think I did. There's Dino. Okay, great. So I guess uh, there's, are the odds on this? No side, yep, here's the odds right here. So some of those predictor cards and things like that, but it's funny, I uh, it's like so familiar to open these because you know, I used to get them when I was a kid for, you know, my parents were giving for me not that much money. And then now to open them again is fun. It doesn't feel like it's that much uh, stress, but then you think about like the price tag and you're like, man, this is weird. Weird turn of events. There's a uh, Marcus Camby. Who's on this one? Joe Smith, Latell Sprewell, Chris Mullen. So there's a couple of these per pack. Lonzo, Sasha, Tim. And man, they are not. I love it. They're not sticking together whatsoever. Um I'm like, I'm like, I have PTSD from uh having these cards stick together uh, too often. And then I'm, I'm, uh, if I'm off screen, it's cause I'm uh, shuffling the cards to make sure they are, you know, put together nicely. So, all right, back in. 
So this is a nice card. It's Jordan, Pippen, and Dennis Rodman. So I like that one a lot. That one will earn a spot there. We'll sleep that in a moment. And Jerry Stackhouse, Witherspoon, Derek Coleman. There's Mr. John Stockton right there. There's a Bullets card of uh, where it says Reunion. Here's Gary Payton. So let's see who we got on this side. Mr. Sir Charles Barkley. This is a good pack. Followed up by Alonzo Mourning and Patrick Ewing. Yeah. If I got this, man. Well, I did, I did get this, but it's uh, it's pretty cool, especially when you're collecting when you're younger. So I remember you get packs with, like, your friends or your family or, you know, siblings or cousins. And, you know, you would all get, like, a pack or two, right? And then you go home, open them up. You pull nothing. And then <laughs> your cousin would pull, like you know, all those cards that are collectible to us out of one. And you just, <laughs> that's when you knew that like, that was the pack and they were the big winner. So kind of interesting, but would like another Kobe rookie card. It's Glenn Rice. Meet the stars. It's Robert Ori. Nice shot right there. Rex Chapman, Nick Anderson, Brian Grant, Bobby Hurley again. This is a Sonics, so probably, yep, Kemp again. Here's Mutombo, Steve Smith, and Mookie. Sean Kemp, Gary Payton, Depp of Shrimp, that's a good one too. So those, those three players or two players on a card, cards actually do have value. Everyone wants like the singular person and i am one of those people as well but if you look back at some of the values of uh cards with like two or three people on them from the 80s that are hall of famers they're going for a boatload of money so uh like that jordan pippen and dennis rodman in good shape over time um you know graded well could uh definitely bring some value as well um all right there's a couple players we're not looking for oh nice we got another die cut but of john stockton Gugliata, Kevin Garnett, so little team cards. So I like these personally. I'm not sure. They probably are pretty common because we've gotten a few at this point, but uh, die cuts are always uh, tough to grade and tough to keep clean. So if you get a, uh, a great player or even a, just a decent player in a die cut, you've heard me talk about it. If you watch this channel at all, take care of it. Uh, could... Uh, could be more valuable than you think. All right, John Stockton on the board, die cut. So keep going. It's like, who is this? Just a little team card and another Iverson uh, rookie card like that. So sleeve that up in a second. Followed up by Damien Stoudemire. Vern Fleming. And congratulations, you are an instant winner. Scratch off this area below to see what you have won. Is this still good? <laughs> Probably not. 1997. Yeah, it needs to be received by 1997. So let's go ahead and uh, scratch this off. See what we won. We, we would have won. says Michael Jordan. I might chill, still try to send this in. Fifth place, Michael Jordan, 5x7, uh, commemorative card. So that's a pretty good hit. I'll count it. Uh, I'll still try to send it in, and then they can just uh, throw it in the trash when they get it. But that was interesting. Now my finger's all, all dirty from that. So that's not good for the cards. Okay, we're back. That's uh, what you're supposed to do. Sorry about that. Didn't think that through. Got uh, most of that off. But uh, we don't want to get too much on these cards i got some pen there too uh well we want to get nothing on these cards but i'm not a uh glove uh guy you know i guess if i was opening up something like really really gnarly i would be but and i totally understand that and i actually like it too i like to watch it. it may seem like it's more like museum but um you know we like to play things a little closer to the uh chest here so if we get multiples i'll uh top load all those after but we're doing pretty good. That's our second uh, Iverson. Two die cuts, Kobe rookie, uh, Ray Allen, Michael Jordan team card. So, so far, uh, so good. Let's keep going, see what else we can uh, achieve. 
from from uh, these. Boom, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Love it. What a great a little box. So there's a base Jordan. I actually never had this base Jordan. So that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool for me. So go ahead and sleeve this up. It's funny. I don't have a lot of his cards in his uh, black uni. It's always his uh, red or white. So that's a pretty nice card. I'm happy to happy to get this card finally. Only took 25 years. There we are. I'm gonna top load this. So we got a base Jordan. <laughs> we got a Kobe rookie. Man, the hits keep on coming. So nice card there. I like this one a lot. So see if we can't get any more. And uh, see if we can't get any more Kobe rookies. Dale Davis, Shaq, love this Shaq, was one of my favorite ones, I did have it, I mean, I, I guess I do have it, so we'll sleeve you up in a minute, he was just making his way over to the Lakers at this time, so uh, his all his cards look like he's uh, like a rookie, but that's not the case, so, is this uh, Sean, nope, Gary Payton, there's the Grizzlies, and there's the Jazz, Stockton, Hornacek, and Carl Malone, that was a good trio. Real good trio. All right, well, break's going well. we uh, got plenty of packs ahead of us, so just uh, comfortable, and we'll see what else we can uh, pull out of here. D. Brown, it's Ron Harper, Reggie Miller, Antonio Davis, Nick Van Exel. There is Jeff Hornacek. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's Gary Payton again. David Robinson. Nope. Jawan Howard. Chris Webber. We've gotten this one. And Damian Stoudemire. And Sharon White. And some guy I don't remember. So, doing pretty well. I think we got about half the box left. So, um, but we did get a Kobe hit. So, that's great. It's not in main condition for sure. But it's uh, still in great condition. Well, good condition. So, happy about that. Joe Dumars. It's Roy Rogers. The Bulls. Jordan. Nice. So this is the Jordan card I have. I just wanted another one in great condition. So uh, that's that's awesome. See David Robinson's there. He's taking a little jumper. So that is cool. That was kind of one of the small hit cards I wanted was this Jordan. Because the one I have is in good shape, but it's not in like mint shape. So, it's a good year. <clears throat> good box. We got another die cut to follow that up. Ooh, nice. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What's going on? Uh, this is a predictor card right here. Is this Stoudemire? Yeah, Damien Stoudemire. So, uh, a decent name, not like a humongous name. Wish we could have got... Uh, that'll probably kill our odds because I think these were rarer. Man, this is going to be brutal to get in here. Um, these were rarer. I'm going to put this in a penny sleeve after because that's going to have to take some time. So we'll set that aside. But that's a cool little die cut there uh, right after Jordan. So that's a nice pack. Um, all right, and let's get back into it. There's George McLeod. BJ Armstrong. Let's lit just a little, a little bit. Ooh, careful. Uh, all right, there's that card. We got here Tim Hammonds, the actor. All right, so still plenty of packs left. So I guess the goal now would be uh, another Kobe rookie in mint condition. Or two and then uh i guess as many die cuts and good rooks and jordans that we can we can muster so there's dana barros tim hammonds again it's uh donnell marshall glenn robinson and we got another insert right here die cut wow okay we're getting, i don't remember getting this many as a kid so Here's another die cut for us. Steve Smith. Uh, oh, I do remember that this is in here. It's a, like a SXP or something like that. 
see if we can get this one in. Um, so, yeah, that was way easy. So, we'll take care of that die cut. And we'll uh, find out if it has any value later. Some of them, you know, I'm, I'm a little too, I think, maybe overzealous of taking care of my die cuts. But when they're valuable, they're real valuable. So, I'd rather unsleeve this later than uh, regret that I did not do it. So... Put you up there. Not a lot of hits are coming out of this box, so that's pretty nice. Hershey, uh, Hershey Hawkins. Bryant Reeves again. Another Jordan. Nope, Dennis Rodman. Joe Smith. Chris Mullen and Kendall Gill. So I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying this break. Uh, if you're still here with me, I'm trying to these in the middle so it's not you know the, the real committed people i guess uh <laughs> but uh, uh appreciate the like and subscribe we are uh, growing the channel nice there's another jordan insert right there so greater highlights read about these a little bit of foil a little bit of sheen on them uh looks like it's in great shape and then that's the back of the card this is michael jordan a little a little something something about him so let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll top sleep, always penny sleeve and top load our Jordans. And there we go. Nice and easy. So that's our third Jordan. And I don't remember having this one either. So that's a pretty nice card. Hopefully it's, uh, I, I don't know. I didn't validate all the, the values of this break before I went into it. I like to do that after and then put them on screen. So um, that way I'm not calling th out the wrong prices on act by mistake. I've done that before and i'd rather just add it in after the fact so definitely has some value all jordans have some value will purdue another predictor card of sean kemp sweet okay so i guess uh i thought these were pretty rare but there's a sean kemp predictor card it looks great rather have this than uh damien stardemeyer no offense even though he was a big uh deal at this time and it says uh collect predictor cards you can find them in upper uh, 1986 one pack uh blah, blah 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 so that's a nice insert set that aside uh with uh, the other one and we'll uh penny sleeve them later get them get them uh get them going so was that sabalis and the magic anthony hardaway again i guess you're going into the abyss with everyone so <clears throat> that's great get some more jordans Get some more everyone else's. Clifford Robinson. Here's the Bulls again. So that's another Jordan. Pippen and Rodman. Nice. Followed up by this Grant Hill. Quickness. I always like this card too. So we'll penny sleeve that in a second. Uh, still collect Grant Hills. Uh, all about... Um, his cards have depreciated immensely. Because, you know, it's like the new players come in. There's a new crop of people watching basketball. So, and, uh, you know... One day he'll uh, creep back up if he can get into the Hall of Fame, but that's uh, it's a tall order. And uh, but I still like to collect them. Little box slide there. These packs feel good. I love that the cards aren't sticking together. It's 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 delightful. <laughs> I can I can't stress that enough. There's Clyde the Glide Drexler. These cards. So Alonzo Mourning, Patrick Ewing. We feel like we got that a little bit in succession last time, but I'm not sure. There's Jeff Hornacek. Here's the Miami Heat excellence card of Alonzo Mourning. Right? No. Yeah. Glenn Rice. Vladi Divac. Really happy we traded that guy for Kobe. And Brian Grant. Mitch Richmond. So. I think we're a little over halfway on the box. Looks like we got maybe... 10 packs left so this has been pretty fun love to get a, a mint kobe there's mookie there's tony tony huh there's uh tonio davis reggie miller man that guy hit some threes huh and then there's a uh, donald royal it's another shack card take that so what's up dude but Shaq on Shaq, right there. Sean Kemp, again. Oh, that's a nice looking card. We got 
a Lonzo Morning. It's one car. Then we have a Sonics card and our checklist. Actually, first checklist, so. And I like that they didn't waste the foil on this. <laughs> like, I know that it doesn't really matter because I, you know, they're just selling it to us, but uh, ooh, don't want to touch those predictors over there. Uh, but yeah, I like that they made it just kind of like easily readable. Some of those checklists, they get real fancy. And uh, they know I like fancy, but when it's a checklist, I don't care that much. All right, so um, this was another scratch off. We got this last time as well. So this is a little meet the stars thing. So I should have taken advantage of that when I was younger. It's Clyde Drexler again. Roy Rogers. I'm um, sorry, Rodney Rogers. It's Chris Ward. Charlie Ward, twice in a row. Nice, dude. There's Sasha. Kevin Johnson was a great player. Uh, didn't collect a bunch of his stuff, but he's a great player. Defla Shrimp. I think that's Cedric, if I'm mistaken. I'm not worried about it. There's uh, the Suns card and the Hornets card. That's how I'm going to do those for the last, last little bit of this, this break here. I'm kind of interested because, like, I don't remember seeing, like, this off print on the Kobe glasses. So, it's not mint, but if it turns out to be an error card, then I guess we've kind of, like, brought it back up to some value. So, that'll be interesting. There's uh, the Timber Timberwolves. Oh, nice. Rockets, Akeem, Clyde, and Barkley. That's a nice one. Well, I guess they're all going over here, but keep it there. Get my Akeem ones, And this is a Spurs... Um, die cut. Who is it? Did, uh, not David. It's Avery Johnson. So I like, I don't know, they kind of like Art Deco or what's that, uh, what's that style called? And it is a, like a different color. I guess it's team driven, but I like that they have the gold around there. So we'll take a second, of course, and sleeve up this die cut. Oh, baby. Too shaky. Too much uh, caffeine today. All right, I guess we'll just put you on top of John Stockton and we'll keep rolling. There's uh, Roy Rogers, it's Tidsdale, Sean Kemp again, Tom Gugliotta, BJ Armstrong, and Tony McDice. Collected a lot of him back in the day. Ron Harper. So I'm um, pretty pumped so far. I mean, we, we pretty much hit everyone. Um, we've hit everyone. <laughs> so now and it takes, it makes the break. Uh, you're always just, you're busting cards. So you're happy, but you know, there is an investment factor here. And uh, when you get them early, the cards early, you are just internally, you're much more relaxed. So that's nice. So it's Mauro Ellie. Never pronounce that guy's name. Panel off like or something. Rex Chapman. Danny Manning. Clifford Robinson. It's a bonus. There's uh, the Celtics. Right there. All right. Actually, see the bottom of the box coming up here. So five packs left of this awesome uh, 1996 retail upper deck box break. Seventy sixers. John Stockton. Avery Johnson. Ray Allen followed up by Kobe again. Nice, love it. Let's see if he has that same glasses thing. He does. So maybe it was just common. But this card is in mint condition. Love it. So we got two Kobe Bryants, two Ray Allens, two Allen Iversons. Um, that was the goal. So that uh, now I feel extra good. I feel extra, extra good. Sorry, Ray Allen. Nice. So that's our second Kobe Bryant. It has the same little like glasses uh, off thing. So I guess it was common. Uh, unless I got like fake cards, <laughs> but uh, it was common. So that's pretty awesome. So that's our second Kobe Bryant rookie card right there. And let's leave up. Uh, we'll just put a sleeve on Ray Allen for a second and then we'll uh, top load them later. So 
what a great box. I mean, we got everyone. We got some inserts of Jordan. We've got uh, Kobe rookie cards. Um, you know, that was the whole goal. So I'm chasing down as many those Kobe rookie cards as I can. Just double check and make sure I went through all that. And there was these two that I think were at the back end here. Del Curry, right there. All right, great. So four packs left. See if we can't uh, catch some last pack magic. Kobe. It's the Cavs. There's uh, Anthony Hardaway. Let's go there. Chris Morris. Gary Trent. Can you tell? Vinay. Tim Hardaway. Joe Smith. Another one of those random insert cards. I'm just putting them aside because I want to read them. I, I, I remember as a kid, if I got them, I probably didn't read them. So I'm curious what the, uh, what the offerings were. And I, I read that like if you send things in to certain companies that are still like thriving, they'll give you like a, a little, sorry, you missed out. Here's way less of that thing you would have had, but something could be wrong. Uh, probably making it up right now because for my own benefit. But I do remember uh, reading that on a Beckett article. But it was a while ago. There's Dale Ellis. There's Dennis Rodman. It's a nice Rodman card. Robert Ori. And there's a nice... I haven't got Anthony Hardaway uh, base, so that's a cool card. Like that. Put you right there. Keith Haskins. And... I ask you, you shall receive. There's a second one. It's not the base, but more Anthony Hardaway. Jeff Hornacek. Kings. We got two of these. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they come as a card because I'm uh, probably not. I mean, hope not. But all right, last uh, last two packs here. So do really well. Did great. Did amazing. Uh, really, really fun. Uh, fun break. So did. Um, couldn't ask for much more, really. Chris Mullen. Kevin Edwards, David Robinson, that's a nice one too. Now I'm starting this random second pile again. Sharif Abdul-Rahim, this is a Bullets insert. Pistons, they were great at that time. Grant Hill, Joe Dumars. And there's uh, the Knicks team card. All right, last pack. I, I would say let's get some last pack magic, which I uh, totally still want, but I feel like, in, you know, we kind of got, we got what we came for. So anything else is really just, you know, extra, extra, extra. So this is Brent Berry, man. Okay. That was a cool shot. Travis Best. There's Askin again. Oh, there's uh, Anthony Hardaway. So we got two of those. Nice. Tyus Edney. Jason Kidd. Sure. And another checklist to round us out. Okay, so thanks for joining me on our 1996-1997 uh, Upper Deck Break. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we appreciate the like and subscribe. We're growing the channel. But here's the, uh, here's the highlights. We got this Jordan uh, Greater Heights insert. This Excellence Jordan insert. Um, there's a lot of different uh, ones of these. And we got the Jordan base card right here. So that's great. All these cards are in perfect condition. They weren't uh, getting all stuck. We got two Allen Iversons. We got two Ray Allens. And we got two Kobe Bryant rookie cards. So that was great. This one has a little bit of a ding. But it's like, even right now, you can like barely tell. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty happy with this box break. We're going to bring you more. We're going to chase more Kobe rookies. A bunch of die cuts as well. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, we'll bring you some more, and we'll see you on the next break. Bye-bye. Yeah.